everyone, we just got a new toy here at the Beauty and the Bolt headquarters, and you might notice it behind me, um, but it is a green screen. So we want to take a quick moment and introduce you to the world of Chroma Key. Um, the concept of green screen is relatively new, but the technique dates back all the way to 1878 when it was first used in double exposure film. If you fast forward today, obviously we're not in film anymore. We've never, Beauty and the Bolt has never filmed or wanted to film in actual like 35 millimeter film, but um, using a green color, which is almost never found in human flesh, we can kind of substitute backgrounds behind me. So for example, if right now I wanted to be standing on a beach, which I really do, here we go. Or if I wanted to be um, in the middle of a lightning storm, because I love lightning, here I am. Or if I'm hanging out with my pal Flynn Ryder, I could maybe finally get my kiss on the cheek. Yeah? Ooh. As early as the 1930s, people started using something called the blue screen. And the reason it was blue is that blue is a complementary color to the human skin tone or human flesh. If you've ever worked in theater or lighting design, you'll know that throwing a green light on someone or a green spotlight on someone generally symbolizes death or dying because you literally look like hollowed skin and death and grossness. Um, and because in a studio setting, that color will reflect around, uh, that could get projected onto the person. However, in modern films, and with the introduction of things like CGI, computer-generated imagery, green became a much more desirable color because actors would more frequently be wearing blue. Like, for example, me right now with, you know, our Beauty and the Bolt uh, t-shirts. Shameless self-promotion. But green, again, is ne almost never found in human hair, skin, flesh, etc. In movies such as, for example, the new Beauty and the Beast movie, a vast majority of the set is just green screened in and animated in. Um, in nearly perfect CGI. So if you take a look at the Beauty and the Beast set, you can see that the backgrounds past the things the actors directly interact with is green. It's just green wall. And for movies like Avatar, you have actors in front of a green screen as well as other digital actors who are people decked out in sensors, tracking marks, and interacting with those actors all in front of a green screen. And that allows for not only the background to be replaced, but also for that digital actor to get CGI'd on top of. Um, but with this effect, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to teach you more things using this channel and um, just create a more interactive dynamic experience for all of us. Signing off from Beauty and the Bolt from Hawaii and China and Tokyo, it is Silent Andrews.